Hi friends, my name is Akil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial, I will show you how to create table in PostgreSQL. So this is my profile, I have 13 plus years of experience in Microsoft Technologies. The agenda of today's video tutorial is how we can create a table in PostgreSQL using GUI and using SQL query as well. So let's jump to the demo. So this is the link to the PostgreSQL official website and this is the list of data types available in the PostgreSQL. When you are creating a table, so there are two important things, the name of the column and its data type. While creating the table, you should be aware that which data type you should choose. So that's why I'm just showing you this particular table so that you should have some idea like basic idea what data type you should choose. For example, if you are going to store some character data type, for example, person's name, their addresses. So you can choose some data type like character or text or if you are going to store some numeric values like persons, salary, some ID or zip code then you can use the numeric data type and now if you are going to store some dates like maybe persons joining date or date of birth or something so you can use the date data type so in PostgreSQL if you want to store some numerical data then you have some data types here like you can use big int here or you can use integer as well we have integer here and then and you have money data type as well if you want to store some for example currency data and similarly for numerical data we have like small int as well okay and now to store the string data type for example person's name addresses or some other information you can use a text data type and as well as if you see this particular thing the following types are specified by sql so we have worker as well so you can use worker 100 or you know worker data type as well and similarly to store the dates and times we have like uh, date data type here is available as well so you can store a date in any format and you have time data type as well and time stamp data type as well and you can also use xml data type to store the xml data so there are different types of data types are available here that you can choose wisely while storing the data so now let me just go ahead and create a table and i can show you like which data type we can choose so let me open the PG Admin 4 tool. So this is PG Admin 4 tool and I got three databases here. So I'm just going to create a table first in the testing database and I'm also going to create the table initially using the GUI and then I will show you how we can create the same table using the query tool. Okay, so we can expand the schemas and then under schemas there are tables. So we can expand tables as well. So right now there are no tables available. So that's why it's not able to show any table so i'm just going to create an employee table and the employee table will contain some employee id their employee name employee salary and the date of joining of the employee so these are the columns that i will create four columns and one table name so let me go back to the pg admin 4 tool and to create a table i can just right click on the tables create table and here i can give the table names so i want to create my table with the name of employee i can select employee here and then i need to go to the columns to create the columns for this particular table so to add a column i need to click on this plus sign add row and then i can give the column name here so the first column will be employee id so i will call it as emp id and the data type will be i will choose as integer because it will be a integer value we have some other options like big it as well that you can use but for this case I'm, I will choose the integer okay. so you can see that we have begin as well and I will keep the employee ID as primary key so I can just enable this one so employee ID will be created as a primary key in this particular table now I can add another column and the next column name will be name and I will select it as barricade so character varying I will select it and I will give the length as 50 and then I will add another column here which will be salary and the data type I will choose it maybe I can choose money as a data type here and the last column will be the date of joining and the data type will be date here because uh, I want to store some dates here so these are the four columns that I will create in this particular table in the employee table and now I can click save so this should create an employee table here so 
you can see that now employee table got created here and if you expand the employee table and if you expand column so you can see all four columns here and if you expand the constants so you can also see that we got a primary key here employee pk is the primary key and for example if you right click on it and click on create a script so this will show you the primary key create statement okay so you can see that the primary key is created on the employee id so so that's fine now what we will do uh, i will try to create the similar table using the sql query as well last time i created is using the gui now i want to create it using the sql query tool so i can click on the tables and i will select query tool and now maybe i can just copy all these columns here so that it can help me just to you know name out the column names so i will write the like create table employee we already have an employee table so i will call it as employee 2 and then the first column is the employee id of type integer now the second column is name which i will put as worker 50 and now the third column is salary and i will keep it as money and now the last column is date of joining and the data type will be date okay and because we want to keep the employee id as the primary key so we can write primary key here so this will make the employee id as the primary key and now i can select this particular create table statement and then i can click on execute so you can see that this should create a employee to table in the database and now i can click on the tables and refresh it so you can see that now a new table got created employee 2 and if you expand the columns you can see all four columns created here and if you expand the constants then you can also see the constants created here employee 2 pk and if you right click on it and click on create a script so you can see that like on which column the primary key is created so the primary key is created on the employee item so that is good i can click on turn save now there is one thing that you might have noticed that for example for the first table employee the first character is in caps and rest of the characters are in small but for the employee 2 table everything is in small and for example if i expand the columns for the first table so first character is in caps and rest of the characters are in small however for the second table everything is in small so for example if you want to do the same thing for the employee 2 table as well that you want to keep the first character in caps and rest of the characters in small then what you need to do maybe you can just drop the existing table employee 2 table drop table employee 2 and let me just recreate it so the table got dropped i can just remove this one so what you need to do you need to put the table name or column name inside double quote okay so i put the employee 2 in the double quote and now let me put the double quote for employee id as well put the double quote here you need to enclose it inside the double quote the table name and the column name okay so that's the thing all right i have enclosed the table name and the column names inside the double quote and now i can just select this create table statement and i can click on execute so a new table should have created and now let me just refresh the tables all right so you can see that a new table employee 2 has been created and the first character of the employee 2 is in caps and rest of the characters are in small and if you expand the columns as well so you will see that now the columns are also looks good the first character is in caps and the rest of the characters are in small and uh, you can check that it contains the primary key as well so this is the method of like creating the tables in postgresql and in next video i will show you how we can insert the data into the tables in postgresql using gui and using sql query as well and using different methods of sql query so that's it for today's video Thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button, do subscribe to our channel, press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much.